Hey guys, welcome back. This will be a follow-up on a previous video I made some time ago on how to decode pager traffic with your software-defined radio. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll have a quick look at uh, some pager decoding using the software-defined radio USB dongles. So what I have on the screen here is uh, PDW 3.1, which is decoding the pager traffic. I have a, a notepad window open here just to uh, cover up some of the uh, phone numbers and uh, private information that will be coming across. Uh, I always had a little bit of trouble with PDW in the past with decoding pagers. I could never get the data up to where I wanted it to be which in this case is 100%. Uh, I've never achieved this before and I finally found what was wrong and it was uh, I discovered it when I was decoding uh, NOAA weather images and I, I really didn't know. Uh, I had the sampling incorrect and I'll show you in a minute here uh, for my PC setup and it was causing little dropouts and you can actually hear the uh, snips and clicks and you could see them uh, when I plotted the uh, the the audio files I could see that there was definitely more uh, degradation than there should be so once I changed that setting uh, I thought I'd give it a try here and this is on one of the local pager frequencies. There's two of them here on the FFT you can see popping up in the background and it's decoding it 100%. No dropped characters, no nothing. Uh, all of the channels I've tried now are the same. Uh, there's three local pager frequencies that I'm aware of. There's probably many more that I just haven't noticed. But uh, all three with the Comet Disco and Antenna I'm pushing 100% on. Uh, sometimes that'll drop to mid 90s, but pretty darn seldom. So uh, I will stop and clear this screen and show you what I found. So I'll give you a quick look at uh, the settings in SDR Sharp, at least the one that made the difference for me. In configuration, this sample rate I have at 1.4 mega samples per second. This is the key for my setup. Perhaps uh, a lot of people have reported being able to run higher. I can't on my PC, and I couldn't really notice a difference, uh, except, like I said, when I evaluated the signal and plotted it in another program. But when I lowered this, I was able to decode my NOAA images, and then I found the pager information was coming through without flaw anymore. I also noticed that ADSB was working uh, a little bit better. It always worked pretty good but ACARS was now working better. So uh, definitely a huge difference. I'm pretty impressed with that. And uh, as usual, what I do is I send the output to line one virtual audio cable. Unfortunately, I can't, maybe uh, someone can help me. In PDW, I can't get the line uh, one, line two, line three virtual audios to work. So I I either take and loop my microphone uh, to my speaker and just run it that way, but then I can't do screen recordings and stuff like that. Uh, what I found is that I just do an end run around it. This is another sound card in my PC. There's two in this particular PC, one I never use, but I'm piping it, to, I'm telling it to look at that, at that sound card and what I'm doing is uh, running a virtual audio cable uh, running from uh, line one which is coming from SDR out to the, C the other uh, sound card. It's an end run around things but hey it works and allows me to keep working with the PC as usual. Not sure why it won't work as standard on uh, virtual audio cable but that is it. Uh, just set it up in monitor for what you want to monitor. Uh, these are the only two I use, the Poxag Flex and the ACARS. Uh, I haven't found any Mobitex or Ermes around my area, but I'm sure that it is. I just uh, haven't even looked into it. Don't even know what they are, to be honest. So that's my PDW setup. Works great for ACARS or pagers. Uh, great program. As far as I remember, it was free. And uh, give it a try. 
uh, hopefully you have the, the success I did to uh, get it to the 100% mark. If you can't get there, try, uh, try dropping your sample rate. And obviously changing the, uh, the gains will help, but in my case I, I seem to be able to get 100% pretty much wherever I set them uh, near the top of the range. I can't seem to overload these ones. So huge difference, that sample rate. That uh, that was the key for my PC, and I had been missing it for so long. I, was, I guess I was just trying to run it a little too high. Thanks for watching.